Hello everybody, my name is Ben and this is Mo Time. And in today's video, I'm gonna take you all through some wheelbarrow tips and tricks that might just help you move that landscape material around your property a little bit more efficiently and also decrease the chance of having a sore back at the end of the day. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, everybody, so the first wheelbarrow tip I can give you does equate to many people in this situation, and that is they've had um, some landscape material dropped off at their property by a delivery truck, whether that's mulch or whether that's top dressing for the upcoming lawn reno, or whether you've had some garden soil come in and you're renovating your garden beds, etc. But imagine you've had that dropped here. Now, the first tip I can give is make sure your wheelbarrow is facing the direction of where you're going to put the materials. Now, what I mean by that is, say I'm heading over to my garden bed over there, so that's the way I need to go, or I'm heading up the side of my house and the garden path is, you know, down that side of the house and I'm heading that direction, then you don't want to turn up to your pile like so and just throw your bone down, shovel out, boom, boom, and just start loading up. You don't want to do that. Because all it does, it means is, oh, I'm heading that direction. Oh, I've got to use more strength, more time. I've got to maneuver myself around and start making my way off to where I'm heading. So the first tip is when you come up to your pile and you're going, you know, towards that direction, then you want to face the barrow towards the direction. That way there's less time maneuvering around. And if you're moving one meter, two meter, three meter, 15 cubic meters of something, then that saves a lot of time over the long run. So make sure you pull your barrow next to the pile right where you're removing the material and heading directly towards where you're wanting to move it to. So that way come up, you boom, 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 fill your barrow up, bone down, pick your barrow up, off you go straight towards where you're heading to. So that is tip number one, have your barrow pointed in the direction you are heading. All right, everybody, so tip number two I can give you is to do with lifting a heavy object into your barrow. Now, normally the brain will register going, yes, lift that thing up, bend the knees, pick it up and put it in the wheelbarrow. But there's a much better way of doing this that'll save a back injury. Now, if you don't have someone else there to help you lift, sometimes yeah, obviously if there's two people or three people that can help you get it into the barrow, then yeah, do that. But a lot of times, like me, I'm on my own and I use this tip to help me out getting a heavy object into my wheelbarrow. Now behind me, I'm currently doing a garden renovation on Mo Time's home base garden, which will be coming out soon. Keep an eye out for that. But over in that corner, I had to dig out quite a large frangipani stump. And this method that I'm about to show you is what I used in getting that big heavy tree stump into my wheelbarrow. I'm gonna put it up on the screen soon and you'll be able to see that. But anyway, so what we've got here, pretend this is quite a heavy item. This is obviously just a pot that weighs nothing, but pretend this is the heavy item you need to get from here into your wheelbarrow barrow. Now, like I mentioned, the human brain will normally be like, pick up, put in, but there's a better way to do that. All you need to do is get your barrow, bring it alongside the object that you need to get in your barrow, and then just lay your barrow over next to it. And then from this point, all you need to do, get down low and just try and get your obstacle into the barrow like so. Just roll it in. And then from that point, you can get under your barrow and lean it over. And there you go. I've found this way 100% less more straining on my back than actually getting down to an object, having to bring it up to this height and into the barrow. Bring the barrow to the object. It makes it 10 times easier and it'll decrease your chance of ending up with a back injury at the end of the day. I hope that helps. All right, everyone, so the next tip has to do with having a full barrow, say, of mulch, and you need to get it on your garden bed here. Now, when you come up to the garden bed, much like I showed you in pulling up next to your pile of material to shovel it in, it's much the same when you're getting your mulch out of your wheelbarrow into the garden bed. Now, this is obviously a garden bed with no plants in it currently. Um, so, we, you know, if you're putting mulch here, you could just turn up, dump the barrow, spread it, keep moving. But say you've got a currently existing garden that has a lot of small, and large plants through it so you need to be a bit more careful with spreading your mulch out and need to do it by hand 
So when you come up to the garden bed, you need to come up in the same direction you are heading with your mulching. So say behind me has already been mulched and I'm making my way along the garden bed, then I want my barrow to be facing this way. Now, apart from the fact that as I move along, I'm already here, I can pick up, move along, keep going. It's also the fact that this is the lower side of the bucket and this is the high side. So if you imagine, if you're around this side, trying to get mulch in, you've got to get over this lip and get it in. Where on this end, you've got a much lower side, it's easier to just get it out and get it into the garden. And that's what makes it way easier and again, more time efficient in getting that mulch or whatever you're doing spread out over the area. Hope that helps. All right, everybody, so tip number three is to do with a mulch pile. So say again, this is some mulch that's been delivered to your property and you need to get it onto your garden bed. Now this little tip, again, will help with making it a bit more time efficient and also may help with your back. So say we get our mulch rake here and we start digging down and getting over the top of our barrow. Again, having your wheelbarrow pointed in the direction you're heading and you're starting to scoop the mulch in, it can take a little bit of time getting it up and over the lift and into your wheelbarrow. Now, to try and speed things up a little bit, and again, you can only really do this with mulch or a light material. Um, generally, you'll find with like crusher dust or any sort of um, concrete mix or, or um, soil, it might be a bit too heavy. But all you'd need to do is again, come next to your pile, lean your barrow over, and then just start hooving the mulch into your barrow as best you can. And when it starts to fall out, then tip it over and that'll have at least half or three quarters of your barrow full. And the last remaining bit, you can just get back in and get it into normally. And that would just might help you be a little bit more time efficient in moving that mulch onto the garden bed and might just help a little bit less with the bending over, etc., of back pain if you don't have a long handled mulch fork or anything like that. Hopefully that one was a helpful one. All right, everybody, so the next tip has to do with actually your wheelbarrow. Now, if you're in the market for a new wheelbarrow, then it isn't a case of just ducking down to Bunnings or wherever and going and grabbing a wheelbarrow and heading home. There's a bit more to it than that. You need to actually purchase the right wheelbarrow for what the purpose is you're doing. Now, in my business, I mainly use my wheelbarrow for moving landscape materials, such as, you know, soils, both top dressing, garden uh, soil, mulches, crusher dust, sometimes I'm mixing mortar up for paving etc and so that's what I use mine for so you need to know what you're using your wheelbarrow for and that will determine the type of wheelbarrow you get now mainly the um, what determines it will be the type of tub you get I've got a poly um, tub here and that's all I need as it keeps the wheelbarrow light and it makes it easy for me to move through um, with landscape material in the jobs I do but if you're say someone who's mixing up concrete quite regularly or mortar uh, quite regularly then you definitely need to look at a steel tub as opposed to a poly so yeah make sure you let the person know what you're using the wheelbarrow for and that'll determine the type of wheelbarrow you choose now the next thing also needs to do with the wheelbarrow and this is something that is commonly overlooked and that's understandable because if you're a homeowner at home or you're renting etc and you like to get out in your lawn and garden and do bits and bobs now and then but you don't really use your wheelbarrow too much or say you only pull your wheelbarrow out for that one renovation you do a year on your lawn then it's not going to get looked at too much and what commonly happens is the tire pressures go down and that is a huge thing that can, can make a big impact on the fatigue on your body is low tire pressure. Now, I remember I got to a job, I don't know, a couple of years ago, I hadn't checked my wheelbarrow, I just loaded it up on the trailer, headed off to the job, got on site, put my first lot of material in, and then went to take off and I thought, oh boy, my tire's low. I hadn't checked my PSI on my tire. It was really flat and it just made pushing those materials to the area I'm trying to get it to 10 times more straining on my body. So that's the next tip I can give you. Make sure you are regularly checking your tire PSI and putting in the right pressure for your particular wheelbarrow and that will drastically decrease the strain on your body and you know the energy used over the course of moving your materials from one place to another. 
All right, everyone. So the last tip I can give you in relation to a wheelbarrow is probably the most important tip and most helpful tip I can give you. So make sure you pay attention. A wheelbarrow is really great for becoming a seat. Just bang that down in your sit and these things are crazy comfortable to sit in i mean if you haven't got wet concrete or anything like that left over in here then definitely don't sit in it but yeah at the end of the day you can lean back chill out have your lunch have your smoko and they make an absolutely comfortable fantastic seat now mind you if you've got a steel one and it's the middle of summer i wouldn't recommend sitting in it or you end up with a burnt bum but a poly one like this absolutely comfortable many a times i'll just sit back in my wheelbarrow have my lunch have my smoko finish that get up and it's back to what its main purpose is but anyway that's my last tip turn it into a fantastic chair all right, everybody, well, I hope those few little tips and tricks help you out at home in getting the better use out of your wheelbarrow. And again, just being more time efficient with it and helping you decrease any back pain at the end of the day. It is another cracker day here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed these little tips and tricks and make sure to click the like button to help MoTime get out to more lawn and garden enthusiasts like you and me. But anyway, I hope you're all doing well mentally and physically. We'll see you all in the next video.